uh, take care of yourself, brother. All right. Happy journeys, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, if I don't see you in Tucson, then I might come back out here next year. Right, for sure, man. I love All you. Right. Right. I love you, too. This is kind of a bittersweet moment for me right now. Uh, me and my brother are really close, but yeah. So we're not saying we're saying goodbye to my brother for now. We're saying goodbye to Chicago, but we're not quite saying goodbye to Illinois. We're gonna be just south of the Wisconsin border tonight. So on the road again. I'm driving through a little town west of Chicago and look at these this these old buildings this old district here it's pretty cool I think I'm gonna be on Main Street of every little town I go through so this should be interesting What's up guys, I'm just waking up, it's 7 in the morning, um, we're just outside of Wisconsin, and still in Illinois, I made it to a camp last night, and it was completely pitch black, lots of trees kind of freaked me out, so I backtracked to a gas station, sit go or something like that, and yeah, so we're gonna hit the road, and we're gonna get to La Crosse today. Um, I was going to stay at that campsite a couple of days and go check it out this morning, but I just found out that I need to get to Walmart to take care of some things that I should have taken care of before and I didn't, so got to move faster than I thought I did, so at least for today. Here it is. Lafayette County, welcome to Wisconsin. Thank you, Wisconsin. Continu welcome to Wisconsin. While I was driving up uh, through Wisconsin, I happened to see a, a sign that just said uh, Riverfront, Road to the Riverfront. Didn't know what river it was, but I decided to take it. And here we are now on the Upper Mississippi River. Back at the Mississippi River again. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there are so many birds in these trees over here. And they are screaming. There's that boat dock. I think the water may be a little low right now, but I'm not sure. Then there's the van heart a little crooked but I'm uh, one of the only ones around I mean there, there's camping over there uh, RVs but they this side of the park over here seems to be more like a day use and uh, yeah there's nobody here for the day use it is a Wednesday morning Ah, that's beautiful. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool park right here along the river. Sorry about my hair. Uh, haven't showered yet this morning. Maybe I'll get into a Planet Fitness by the end of the day. So, I'm about ready to head out of here. And I was <clears throat> checking my maps because, like I said, I was just kind of driving along when I saw the river sign. Uh, this since this is the Mississippi River, that's Iowa, right there. So instead of being in Iowa looking at Illinois, now I'm in Wisconsin looking back at Iowa. So that's pretty cool. But I got to do some I got to do some time lapse recording, and uh, it's a little windy, so I got the hoodie on. But I got to do some time lapse recording, and I got to read a couple pages in the book that I've been reading, uh, suggested by none other than Adventure Man Man. Blue Highways, it's actually pretty good. Um, uh, I'm enjoying it. So, 
Uh, if you don't know what it is, he traveled the country in his van uh, on all the back on all the back roads, which is kind of what I'm doing, mainly just because I don't like the highway. But yeah, so relevant. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off from here. Where we should be in La Crosse, Minnesota soon. We're gonna go ahead and just drive a road that basically goes right up along the Mississippi the whole way. Uh, we're not too far from the other side of the Mississippi being Minnesota. And um, I need to stop at the Walmart. Then I should be at my next camp here within an hour or within two, three hours at the most. Hopefully roll in before dark like on like last night. out guys the speedometer is about to flip over 226,000 miles there it is 226,000 miles and B town Wisconsin is when I hit that mark big old V6 Vortec motor these motors last a long time. Everything else will break before that motor does. Look at that bridge up ahead, guys. That's gonna cross the Missouri, or that's gonna cross the Mississippi River. But uh, we're not gonna go right into Minnesota. We're gonna check out a little bit of an island on the Mississippi, but it's still on the Wisconsin side, so. Turn right onto North Pettibone Drive. What it says, do not enter. Well, guys, I think the camp is that way. My GPS is telling me to turn. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. It's telling me not to turn there, so. Let's... I guess that's a bus, Turn guys. Right North Thanks for visiting Wisconsin. Mississippi River. Welcome to Minnesota. Thank you, Minnesota. This has got to be one of the only states that I've been to that does not have a welcoming sign anywhere. Hey, what's up, guys? So, good morning. I'm sorry for the bad hairdo, but that's fan life. Um, I didn't camp anywhere in Minnesota because there's really nowhere to camp that's cheaper than $30. And I'm just not going to pay that much to stay a night. So I went through Minneapolis last night. I tried getting a shower in, but the Planet Fitness was packed. So I found one in St. Cloud. So I decided to jump on the interstate and uh, head to the rest area that's close to St. Cloud and get some sleep for the night. I still haven't fixed it up since last night. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to Planet Fitness in St. Cloud, shower up, edit this video, and upload it and see where I'm going to go from there. I'm a couple hundred miles away from North Dakota's border. We'll see where I can camp tonight. Um, yeah, if you guys like these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button right here. My van vlog videos are here, and my van tour videos are here. I'll see you guys next time.